How's it going everybody? Chadley here and just today Borderlands announced that there is a new mini event going on. This is called the Doorbusters mini event. What this event is going to do is if you go up to any vending machine, there's just going to be legendaries sitting in it instead of like purples, greens and stuff like that. So you guys can easily farm basically any base game legendary. Now if you go to like the jackpot or something, you're not going to find DLC weapons and class mods and stuff like that in those vending machines. So just keep that in mind, no matter where you go, it's going to be base game items in there. But otherwise, I just want to show you guys my favorite spot to farm just vending machines. And then after I show you guys the spot, I'm going to show you guys my overall favorite spot to farm in general right now. You can hit four vending machines along with getting 30 or more drops, legendary drops, in less than 10 minutes each run. It's absolutely insane. So if you guys couldn't already tell where we are, we're here at the Meridian Metroplex, just right in the middle at the fast travel station. You guys go to this spot, you guys spawn in, and there are all three vending machines within a couple steps of each other. You got the ammo dump for your grenades, the Dr. Zed's meds for shields and class mods, so you guys can farm those out of there. And then, Marcus's gun machine and you guys can get basically any gun out of there and like you can see they do come anointed fairly often so this is by far the easiest place to farm this map still loads pretty quick I don't know exactly how quick on console as I am on PC but either way if you guys are on console you have to save and quit anyways for the most part to farm vending machines so this is normally the best bet regardless. So yeah, this is my overall favorite place to farm vending machines. But now let me show you guys my favorite place to just farm legendaries in general right now. The, the amount of you get from it is insane. So let's go ahead and travel over there. Okay, the next spot is something that you guys probably could have guessed, but I just haven't seen really anybody else doing it or promoting it. And that is farming vending machines while you're doing the takedown shakedown event. So the takedown shakedown is also another mini event available and I believe it's also until April 2nd so why not combine both when you guys start the takedown there are two vending machines right here that you guys can peek at and you guys can get your class mods shields and grenades out of there and then if you guys have a good build like say Flak Nukem here I'm still basically running level 53 gear and we still destroy absolutely everything this clairvoyance that I made a video on Earlier today is the only gun at 57 that I really use in here. Everything else is still 53 or even some 50s in here. Actually, I have this 57 Snowdrift Auto Idle. Forgot about that. But otherwise, I can seriously run through this casually in seven minutes or less. Just pull out the Scourge for mobbing sections, wedding invitation for bosses, and you're good to go. So yeah, otherwise, we can run through and we can count how many legendaries we get throughout the takedown. Now, unfortunately, I killed the Kraken too quick and his shield remained up, so I can't actually break all of his different parts. But if you guys actually kill him without his shield up, you can break his big head part and all four of his legs, just kind of like Wotan. And you guys can get even more legendaries out of there. So just even, you know, base right there, we got two legendaries out of him. But otherwise, we're going to keep moving on, and I'll see you guys after we beat the Valkyries. Okay, we just killed Valkyries. I had one legendary, just kind of go through the map. But otherwise, up here, we have another one, two, three, four, and five. We have a total of eight so far. And one of them is a Zetsev's Eruption. So not only are you getting just dumb amounts of legendaries from this, you're also getting very hard to get legendaries out of this this is why the takedown shakedown event is amazing and why i think gearbox should make this permanent because the amount of times i've actually gotten a zetsev's eruption before this event from like valkyries is maybe one time and i've done this hundreds and hundreds of times so hopefully that becomes a thing but right now this is by far the most efficient way of getting legendaries with these two events active up until april 2nd so I definitely recommend you guys do this, but otherwise I will see you guys at Wotan. So I just finished up the bridge and we have another legendary right there and another one all the way over here. So that's two more to add to our count and they're both uh, actually fairly decent. Now, in case you guys were wondering, the Wedding Invitation is still probably one of the best snipers in the entire game. 
So, I know you guys have probably been seeing all the new snipers being kind of showcased and stuff like that. This is still a 53 wedding invitation here on a level 57 takedown. This thing is still by far the best sniper in the game. So, definitely keep that in mind. Don't throw your wedding invitations in the way. But something else I like to do, just to make sure I get the most amount of legendaries possible, I just keep a cutsman on me. You guys have probably seen this a million times. Just use the cutsman on the legs, it just instantly breaks all of them. And then otherwise, I'm going to swap back to our wedding invitation. Kill the brain right here. Kill this final guy. If uh, he wants to stop moving, there we go. And then now, we have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 legendaries just from the Wotan fight. Put those all together, I'm pretty sure including vending machines, that's well over 30. That's two runs in a row now, because I did one before I started recording this video, where I've gotten over 30 legendaries in total. And this all took me, while recording, seven, seven, eight minutes, something like that. I wasn't even trying to go as fast as I can. So you can easily pump out insane amounts of legendaries per hour. And this is by far what you guys need to be doing a lot until April 2nd when these events end. And also, you guys should probably see, there is an anointed redistributor here. It is not a good anointment, but on that first run I did, I got this redistributor and this redistributor on top of a 100% rack attack one. All from one Motan kill. Otherwise, we got the Tig's Boom there. So, if you guys have been struggling to get your hands on some of these raid legendaries, right now is really the time. And you guys can also bust out the vending machine event in the process. So, that's why this is by far the best legendary farm in the game right now. But obviously, it's only going to be here for a limited time. So, definitely get on it. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it to let me know. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Borderlands content here in the near future. Otherwise, I'll be streaming over on Twitch tonight. If you guys want to come by, I would love to say hi to you guys. Otherwise, have a good one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.